Welcome back everyone. Checking out the crossplay here for the new multiplayer game, Knockout City. Dodgeball theme. Okay. Okay, Knockout City News. Grab a ball. Throw a ball. Catch a ball. Hey, all you brawlers out there. Welcome to Knockout City. I'm your humble DJ, beaming this message from my station on the moon direct to your ears. I'll be playing only the hottest tracks while you practice your moves in your own personal hideout. Try out your throws on the target dummy or log into the radio bot for access to more in-depth training programs. Or, if you think you're ready, open the menu and hop into a match and show us what you got. Interesting. Okay, you can actually do that to triple jump. Interesting. Hot potato. Okay, locks me and ball, that's me. You got me. I'm curious how to throw her shots and whatnot, but training it is I need to be doing why to dodge okay. that's how you tackle people Bonding. Very good, you know? 
Wider jump second time. Yes, barely. Yeah. <laughs> Super slow there. When learning the basics of brawling, there's no place better than Rooftop Rumble. Learning how to run and jump across these rooftops could mean the difference between supreme victory and sudden vertigo. Welcome Find to training. Radio bot scattered Each year I brawl the best. To these radio bots scattered across the map learn how to brawl. Any brawler worth their salt will need to master. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Move around. Look around. I'll figure it out. Speed jump. Can't dash bra without balls. Balls pick them up. Whatever you do, don't look down, baby. What a trick. I'm gonna drop him. That's good. I wouldn't linger too long. Your lock on. At least to throw. <laughs> Zeal to catch incoming throws. Stand in the circle in front of the target dummy to initiate its throw catch protocol. <laughs> locks onto you, you'll see a border warning around the edge of the screen. Border warning will also show the direction the opponent is in, or off screen, and will change states with the little stone. Going back to stand in the circle and then different directions. That works. Okay. So then it highlights on my right side there and then does the little burst. I think you do that nonsense. I feel like Oh, no, 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 it's over there. Oh, I threw it! Oh, yeah, I caught it. That's the idea, anyway. You will airborne, open the glider. That multi millionaire, Malcolm Magpie, has been buying up huge chunks of the city. Says he's gonna revitalize Every the map place. Every map work to learn. Rooftop Rumble has high wind volumes to buildings. Glide faster while inside the island. Ah, the yep. lamp light. I got my star yep. there. Rolling during the Need a ball? Find them designated spots like this across no the map. All falls off level will respond to these spots. Different maps have different ball spawners. Bye. Ben Shield respawn there. There it goes. Once you found all the bots, you're free to move to the next training. Many you found at the top left. I have found them all. Next training. Hey, alright. You completed all the lessons in basic training. Nicely done. Welcome to Concussion Yard, a great place to learn how to be the ball. 
Follow the various radio bot instructions and in no time you'll be like someone got to the machines around the construction site. Be on the lookout for new paths as the equipment moves around. Watch out for wrecking ball. Who left that thing on? Hold R to go into ball form. Ball form, you move by rolling. Look for spots to roll under. Other balls pick you up until you just like any other ball. I have no idea what they're building here. Luxury apartments, Oops. <laughs> I fell. office space. Whatever it is, it's certainly Good out of my know. price range. Pick up and throw other ball form players like no ball. Some players cause an instant KO if they hit. Cool beans. Good job, teammate. Oh, is there any wet cement to write your name in? I used to love doing that. While in ball form, opponents can pick you up too. Locked in the hands and have to hold B to escape. Ash B repeatedly to break out faster. Still break out even after you've been thrown. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Or you do nothing, or you just hold it. Or you mash it. Gotcha, gotcha. This says you can throw a teammate for instant KO. You can also be thrown. Hold R and roll into a teammate's hands to be thrown. Yeah. Times. Hold R to roll into a teammate's hands to try an ultimate throw. When fully charged by a teammate, you'll be thrown high into the air. Control your trajectory with the left stick. Explode on impact. This will be killing and opponents caught in the blast. Yep. We tried to save the school. We even had a fundraiser right here on the station. But there's not much Use of a communicate with the team. Against the mega millions Just throw on ball form to say, throw me. Automatically ask for help when picked up by a punt. Up to taunt your opponents and rock. Woohoo! 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 Pass to me! Ball up! Ball up! Ball up! Woohoo! Pass to me! Yeah. Throw me! 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 Let's see how that'll get annoying very quickly. Throw me! Oof! That looked like it hurt. Good to know that does. Got workman's comp. Go ahead, get hit by that wrecking ball. Yep. It won't knock you out, but yep. it will yep. knock you around. <laughs> yep. Yep. Also throw a teammate as an ultimate throw. Me, I'll throw them by holding ZDR until fully charged. Good job, teammate. Yeah. Playing the high ground for a strategic advantage. Always keep an eye out for high places. Post up and see more of the map. Glad I get the drop another brawler from above. Yeah. And look out for special balls that appear randomly from the ball spawners. This one is the moon ball. While holding it, you'll jump like you would on the moon. Complete the last training lesson in this section. Why not come to a match and practice what you learn? Open the menu to choose where to go next. As the saying goes, ball up or jump. Beans.
Here at the Knockout Roundabout, you'll learn how to push your dodgeballs past the speed limit. Follow, Follow the various RadioBot instructions and kick this baby into overcharge. In this training, we'll teach you everything you need to know about overcharge. Overcharge makes the ball go faster than just normal full charge. Overcharge in two ways, receiving a pass or perfect catching it new. Oh. Roundabout's always big, so you gotta watch out for traffic. Cars will knock you away when they hit you, but they don't hurt. I'm on top of them for a three ride throughout the city. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to play in traffic? <laughs> yeah, mine neither. Hold L to charge a pass. Release L to throw it. Passing at the tier of overcharge but cannot get higher than tier. Mm -hmm. Automatically catch an incoming pass. No one put required. Good job, teammate. Are you? When you have four more tiers of overcharge, the ball becomes supercharged. It's crazy fast, but you can only get supercharged from a perfect catch. Supercharge caps out at tier six. Remember. You gotta stand in the circle in front of the time. Time to catch dummy, perfectly, you'll overcharge the ball and recover faster. Press Z out at the last possible moment. Perfect catch. This perfect catch adds the tier of overcharge up to six. Like so. Now it's powered up. Now it's powered down and then quicker, aggressively. Comes much more difficult to catch. Well, I tried. Can't receive a pass if you're already holding a ball. Can catch one. Instead, the pass will be reflected back towards the original thrower. Press L to pass to a teammate holding the ball and reflect it back for a quick tier 1 overcharge. Don't forget, you can pass it to nearby teammates even when you're not looking at them. When you pass to a teammate, you'll give them a heads up by shouting, Here! Press L when your hands are empty to call for a pass instead. Pass to me! Pass to me! Ball up! Woohoo! Yep. Yep. This is a sniper ball, an absolute beast at long range. You are to target opponents far, far away. Keep pulling for a full lock. Full lock, you throw a blindingly fast shot. Without it, it'll be a slow tumbling shot. Any targets will reset the charge, so we pace it when locking on. That's the last training lesson in this section. I recommend coming into a match while the lessons are still fresh in your mind. Open the menu to choose where to go next. Show them how much of a speed demon you really are. Why did you just do this? That close range isn't so bad. Ah, ah.
All right, press A or X to spin or flip. Spin and flip are used for trick shots. Okay. Also give you extra heads while in the air. Press spin and flipping after jumping. I was curious though, the reason why it's too different. Double jump buttons. That makes all the sense in the world now. What a tranquil rooftop garden. I wouldn't linger Press too long. You're R3 while holding a ball to fake throw. This is the trick I would browse into dodging or catching. Then hit with the real thing. Once they throw up their arms to catch, then they're stunned for just long enough to get another hit. That multi-millionaire Malcolm Magpie has been buying up huge chunks of the city. Says he's gonna cage ball traps to win the ball from the time runs out. There's no breaking out of a cage by mashing. Stab to save time. Cage players can be thrown the same as any other ball from. Just watch out. Seems like the most practical option. Ah, the lamp line. I got my start there. Brawling during the day and DJing at night. No matter the beef, everyone was friends at the old lamp line. Release throw immediately after pressing flip. Throw a lob shot. Throw it over you. Throw over short walls or high ledges. beans. Whatever you do, don't look down, baby. And of course, curve shots. Immediately after pressing spin, throw a curve shot. Throw around corners with hit punch from the side. Time. That's the final training lesson in this section. You should take these new skills into a match and show them all how tricky you can be. Open the menu to oh, choose where to go next. That. Take the fight to them. Put the side of <laughs> Very cool. Down here in back alley brawl, we're gonna have some real fun. You gotta try balling up and hopping in those vacuum tubes for a real wild ride. Follow the various radio bot instructions and pay attention. Press in L3. Here here could mean the difference sprint. between victory and hold it down. defeat. Can't charge throws while sprinting. Interesting. Dodge in the direction you want and press Y. Dude. Dodge in the direction you want. Press Y. <laughs> Little break homing. Any incoming throw. I understand. Don't do that. Interception. Yep. 
Bomb ball detonates on impact and hits everyone in You mean everyone? Terrible, the fuse starts to speed up. The yellow tube takes you straight to drainage. Walk into Watch the tubes to fly across the map in a flash. Miles, the tubes send you right over the drainage. The Find all three so tubes and see where they go. Press Y to dodge head first into a hostile ball deflected way. Interesting. Stand in the circle to practice deflecting ink. Dodge. <laughs> if you had a teammate nearby, they'd be able to grab the ball at that point. Counter. Dodge brawl in his dirty work. That's why I didn't dodge into a bunch of attack them. I deal damage, but knock the ball loose. Like so. Uh, just been griefed. Tubes, tubes, more tubes. Green tube, send you over the corner. Overrun with Ivy. Turns out terraforming is harder in practice than on paper. So until they figure it out, you just wait nearby and go like tackles. Start of the throw, but change your mind. Cancel your charge. Dodging, catching, and sprinting wall cancel. Charging. Sprinting the fastest way. Fast system was within artificial delay. Red tubes send you back to the neutral shop. Tubes have many uses, making escapes, ambushing punch, speeding up your uphill. You pass by and go like there's a guy there. Hello. I don't know, there's a opponent here. Alright, alright, alright. That's the final training lesson in this section. Let's see You've got how much I probably need just now, for the why not settings show them here. Off in a real match. Open the menu to choose where to go next. Dodge, duck, and dodge. Audio levels seem to be Ready, decent, so that's always good. Quality. Here's this graphical fidelity of run three. Performance mode lowers graphical fidelity, but running at 60. Where's a fast network connection? The subtitles for the DJ announcer? Okay. Not 100% necessary. You can pack it loss. Voice chat doesn't mean that much to me. Play enabled. Complete contracts to earn tons of XP. Oh, fun. Contracts can Nothing only be completed daily in street play and league play. And you got to finish trainings. each match to keep your progress. Check back every day for brand new contracts that'll test your skills. Daily ones. Error throw a ball from teammate three times. They curve pass a dodgeball five times. Or a KO Frenzy. Different clear one. The above. Neat. I think now we run at a higher frame rate, but now the game's all fuzzy. Sure, which I like better. Option is any. You're tuned to KO City Pirate Radio, the station your parents don't want you listening to. As if they weren't brawling in the 
streets when they were young. Stay cool, babies. Pombo. Hello, team. Gold team on it. Team KO. Round one. Knock out more opponents than the other team to win. Side dodge. Three sixty fast enough.
Cars is funny though. Gold team is falling way behind. Ooh. Double down those bomb 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 balls there. I just kind of work it and leave or just hiding in a corner somewhere. It's very strange. Gold There's someone. It's catching up. Oh, come on. Yes. when it was going to actually really talk those off. Yeah, definitely did all those training ones. Ooh, they have more training ones after those ones. Eat. Kind of similar to the career ones, but a little different. Yeah, neat stuff. He drinks he boosters. Your friend, I might actually customize my character. Shop here in the social menus. Select a player card to make friends, group up, mute, or report them bad apples. Looks like a no. Very strange.
Mm-hmm. Seen the trailer a few months ago for it. He has little presentations. Yeah, definitely not a bad little game. It's fairly well balanced as far as that's concerned. Kind of like a game of rock, paper, scissors in a way, so. It's a simple balance to the game. Go to settings for accessibility oh, there's a customized brawler. Jeez. Use the social bar at the top of the screen to group up with friends. And always remember to open contracts to view today's challenges before you play. <laughs> Choose your brawler's <laughs> unique style and personality. This is for showing off only and never affects your abilities in a match. Make three different brawlers and swap between them anytime you see the brawler swapper at the bottom of the screen. If you want to get noticed, you gotta stand out. Heavy or slightly more bottom heavy? Not Asian though. Handsome man. Good morning to you, Spencer. Check out a new game here this morning. Playing the open crossplay beta for Knockout City. Dodgeball mall player game. Love good Pompadour. Kinda have blue hair. What's up? Hello. Hey there. Hi. What's up? What? Hi. Yeah. How you doing? Hey. Yo. Howdy ho. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Woohoo! Most outfits and gloves can be hacked with style chips to unlock fresh new styles. Many outfits and crew vehicles also come with new outfit or vehicle contracts you can find in the contracts menu. Wouldn't mind the glasses, but or if they were sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, that'd be different looking now. True, if you're looking to do that. Use the hollow bucks you earn to buy exclusive items here in the brawl shop. Oh cool, I can buy Remember, some things with my little hollow bucks. For showing off only and won't affect your abilities. Looking the best does not necessarily mean you'll play too the best. You dig? The brawl shop changes daily, so check back often to see what's in stock. Ah! Some cyber funky hair. Now 
No, no need. <laughs> Earn XP from winning matches and completing oh, okay. contracts to level up your street okay. rank. The cosmetics you win here Battle can pass only be sense. earned in street rank and can't be purchased anywhere else. Each brawler gets them in a random order. But don't worry, baby. You'll earn them all by the time you reach max rank. And then you go to the next tier. Cool. That's actually a nice little progression system. For a fun variety of playlists, we can give it one more around here. Weeks, check out Street Play. League plays for serious competitors and street it's only five to do one on one season and if your street rank is high enough. Private matches are for playing with friends only or even solo if you just want to explore this big beautiful city. Also have a league play, private message. Matches. Talk too fast, start to mumble. So stay with multiple brawlers if you look this. Different characters at any given time. Here's a little safety tip. Watch out for those overcharged throws. They really pack a wallop. A pretty face is a terrible thing to waste. Moonball. Both teams just that poor guy. Not default, yes. Team KO. Round one.
target. Definitely a good sport for sticking with it. Almost got him. No, they're typically. It depends on the stage, but they're different. Um, balls around the stage. They have somewhat number of respawn points. There is a limited number of balls in a given stage. If you happen to throw them off an edge or whatever, then you just get replaced by. Sweet, has MPP that time. Definitely an interesting game. Sweet. Want those? We have fun last match. Sure, more or less. It's less fun for the other guy because playing by himself, but still. Create any game. So the crossplay beta for this lasts for all this weekend, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern till 9 p.m. on Sunday. Those of you want to check it out, available on multiple systems, including Nintendo Switch. For now, I'm going to take a quick break and pop over to see what else I can do this morning. Hope you're all having a good one. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. 